Kendea here with For the Love of Paper and Ink. Welcome. This video is going to be dedicated to providing you with a way I use dictionary pages to make envelopes for my junk journals. I'm going to be sharing with you how I create this envelope and how you can create with envelope this kind of envelope with a few items you most likely already have in your home. We're going to decorate it up the envelope with a simple manner and then I'm going to show you how you can do it a little, little more elaborately and then I'll show you how we can add it to a journal. Just as a side note I wanted to share a shout out of one of my raving fans Candy and here's what she had to say about a journal she received from me. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm so addicted to your journals. Love love love. Perfect in every way. Beautiful. Can't wait to fill it. Um, if you want to receive a shout out you have to be a subscribe to me and leave a comment below of what you enjoyed and if you made anything with this. As a reminder, um, for fun with paper and ink, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a video every Tuesday. Here is a list of items you will need to create your own dictionary page envelope. Um, I would love if you want to pause here and gather these items to craft along with me. Now we're ready to start our envelopes. So we're going to start with a regular piece of paper that is 8.5 by 11.5 and, and we're going to use the six, around six pages, I'm not sure if we'll use them all, of um, dictionary pages. And we'll just be using our glue stick and um, we'll be just gluing them on and you'll see in the first in my prototype envelope I used dictionary pages that had pictures on them so I glued them glued them on specifically so that the um, envelopes or the dictionary pages faced up and faced down when I folded it so I want to do that again in this so that the words will face the correct way when I fold it. So I'm just going to fold it in thirds like this and I'm going to just place the paper like this and glue down. So I'll just start by gluing the paper onto the plain paper, the dictionary page onto the plain paper. And we'll just glue a little bit at a time. And I don't want these ruffled edges, so I'm going to take it over the edge. of the dictionary page. So I take it over the edge and then I'll cut that off. And then finish gluing this down. smooth it on with your hand. Now if you don't have a glue stick you can use your regular wet glue like Fabri-Tac or Aileen's Tacky Glue. And then once you are got it all glued down you just trim away the excess. Toss that into the garbage and then for this side I'm just going to rip the dictionary page so I don't need the whole page and 
glue it down next to the page I already have. And it's going to overlap a little bit so I get a little bit of glue on the dictionary page that I already have down so that it will glue there. And as you can see, there's a little bit, it rips over a little bit far, so there's a little bit of the paper showing through. That is okay because we're going to be inking the edges, so you won't even notice that. And then again, we're going to cut off the excess. And got a little extra up here, so we're going to trim that off as well. And then the flat comes down this way, so we want the letters facing this direction, the words facing this direction, so I'm just going to use this and glue this on. To here. And again, we'll trim off the excess and I'm sorry for the train. And I'm um, trimming off at the top too. And then trimming off at the edge there. And then I'm just gonna rip up the next section. Oh, I didn't rip that big enough. And we want to overlap it. And we'll trim off the excess. I suppose you could trim off the excess all at once. And then we'll take the last section and glue it down. It's good though to trim off the excess off of one side of the paper before you start gluing the other side of paper down. because we're gonna put paper on both the inside and the outside. And you'll see why in a minute. So on the, I did it on both inside and outside on the template. And so there's gonna be two ways that you can do this journal or this envelope. We're gonna have it be one way where it's just a plain envelope like this and we're gonna glue it up and it will just be an envelope like this. And then the second way I will show you after we're done making this one. What we're gonna do with it and it will be a different way to do a pocket and have it be multiple pockets. So 
let's glue in our inside. And this you want facing a specific direction as well on this one. On that one it doesn't matter so much on this one because it's going to be closed up. But this one is not going to be closed up. So you want to do it in this direction. Okay, and then we're gonna rip this again. And we're gonna just trim off this excess right here instead of ripping it this time because I don't wanna rip into the words. And we're going to put this on here. There we go. And then we're going to add a little bit up here. And we're just going to rip this direction. And glue that up there. We just need a little bit of it for the end. Okay, now we're going to cut off the excess around the edge here. And we have ourselves dictionary page. Now the reason I am using paper in between the dictionary pages is because dictionary pages are quite thin and I want to give them some sturdiness by adding a piece of paper in between. So that's why I added the piece of paper so that they won't fall apart so easy. in the journal. There. Now we got our envelope basically put up. Now we're going to start decorating it. So we used five and a half pieces of dictionary pages. 
we didn't necessarily need the sixth one, but I have six there just in case you need six. Now I've decided on the colors for this one is Salty Ocean, Blue, and Vintage Photo. You can do whichever blue and brown you have. If you don't have Distress Oxides, you can just use Distress um, inks instead of the Distress Oxides. And if you don't have those, you can use whatever inks you have. Um, just use a brown and a blue is what I'm doing. Or this one I used a brown and a purple. I used the shaded lilac for this one. And I will link these below um, in my description box, box so that if you want to purchase these, you can follow the link and, and purchase them um, easy enough. So, um, let's continue with the decorating. So what we're going to do first is we're going to ink up the sides. Now this gives it that helps with that age look. Of course the dictionary I used it was an older one. If you don't have an older one this will help give it a more aged look if you're using a newer dictionary page. Didn't quite get the glue sticking there and I need to remember to put my lid back on because I live in Arizona and it gets dry here fast and those will dry out. ink all around the edges. And then we're going to ink the edges of the envelope, these edges, by just folding the envelope closed. That helps give a more distressed look to the envelope and more aged look. And since we are going to leave the, out, the inside of this one open and not close it, um, we will distress the inside of this one as well. The other one, I just distressed the upper edge. I didn't distress the whole thing. So if you're going to be sewing it closed, just to stress the upper edge or gluing it closed, I should say. Now, if you find you have a little spots that aren't glued down all the way, just grab your glue stick and throw a little more glue on there. spot right here that doesn't have glue on it.
edges always need a little bit of extra help with the glue. And if you're wondering what I'm inking with, I like to use my glue sticks when they're empty, and this one I'm using even though it's not empty, and put these felt pads from the Dollar Tree on the top of them that are used for covering your bottom of your chairs. And they work great as ink daubers. So um, I'll, I get these on Amazon and I'll link it below, these uh, glue sticks. And they are great permanent glue sticks. So I love them, they work really good. And they're nice and big so they don't run out as quickly so um, you get these and then you use them and you can put a felt thing round from the dollar store the dollar tree on the top that you get a big package of them for a dollar okay so now we've aged up our um, envelope Now we're going to put some color on the envelope. So as you can see on here, I just added color to the whole envelope. Let me dry this glue. And for that, I'm going to use the Distress Oxide in Salty Ocean. And I'm just going to take my dauber and get a little bit of the color on and then I'm just going to smear it all over the page. Like this. And that gives it some color. And we'll do it on the inside as well. Okay, so then what I did next is I did some stamping. Uh, so I used some stamps to put on some bees and some flowers. This one I thought I would do some butterflies and birds. So I have these cute stamps. They're the Bow Bunny. bird song stamp and I want to do this cute bird right here and I'm going to do it in salty ocean I'm going to do it in the same color as I was wiping on and when I'm stamping, I use a uh, old mouse pad. Probably have one laying around in your house. And that gives the cushion 
that you need underneath to give a good stamp. And I'm gonna stamp this right here. There we go. There we got a cute little bird on there. And let's dry this up. And I picked blue because the sticker I want to use for the dimensional sticker I want to use for this butterfly has some blue in it and it's this yellow and blue butterfly and I really liked the drawing the blue out in this butterfly and I think I like adding this butterfly here in this corner because it's kind of opposite corners of this bird and I think it balances the bird out having the butterfly be right there and then I have this flower this fabric flower I thought would look kind of nice on here as well and I think I'm going to add it right here in the center between the two and it fills the the room out of the page nicely and for that I'm going to use my fabric tack glue since it is a fabric flower and is dimensional and I want it to stick good whereas the glue stick wouldn't hold this So, got that on there. So let's move it down a little bit. And then on this one, I did put some lace on here as well. And I thought I'd do that on this one also. And I have a blue one that I'm not sure if I was gonna like it with that. But it is a little bit of a different blue, but I do like it with it. It's not an overwhelming size. I had also picked out this white lace, but it's not the same white and it's a little bit too big of a lace. So I'm not really liking that with it, but I do really like this blue lace. So let me get the end of the lace here. And we'll glue a little bit of this down right here. Now there's a couple different things you can do on this to add some stitching to it. You can either run this through your sewing machine and do a line of stitching around the edge of this before you add it to your journal if you have a sewing machine. Or you can do what I did on this one which is use a stamp and I have this Bow Bunny Stitches in Time which has four different stitches stamps. If you don't have a sewing machine or a stamp that has stitches on it, there's also the alternative of the old fashioned way of adding st stamps by drawing or adding stitches by drawing them on with just a pen and doing lines and that makes them look like little stitches 
all up and down your the edge of your envelope. Now you can just do a line or you can do X's and it looks like a cross stitch. If you do X's, it looks like a cross stitch um, stitch. And you can alternate um, by, between a line and an X and make it look like you did both. Give it some funky stitches. And voila, you got some cute stitching by hand with a pen and there you go. You don't need a, a sewing machine or a stamp. You just need a good old pen. And you got yourself some faux stitching. And I think it looks really cute with the faux stitching on it. So whatever tools you have, you can create a cute little decorated up envelope with stitching on it. And voila, there we go. We are all done with the stitching. And you can do it on the inside and outside if you want with the faux stitching, if you're gonna have it be open like this, so it looks like you have it on both, since it's, you want it, you know, with stitching is normally on both sides. I'm not gonna take the time to do that at this moment so you don't have to painstakingly watch me faux stitch. But um, we can, you can add more decorations to your, like some more stamping, some more stickers. These butterfly stickers come from the Dollar Tree. Um, they're super cute. And I have any ephemera you have would be cute on on these. I have this cute little flower sticker that I'm gonna glue on because I had tried to use it on something else and pulled it off so it needs to be glued down. Okay, any, so any little thing you want to put on here to decorate up your envelopes. And then what we're going to do with this one, since we're not closing it, is we're going to take that extra piece of envelope or um, dictionary page, and we are going to create pockets with it for the inside. So this will be kind of like a pocket envelope. So we're going to 
create a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. So, um, for this side, it's going to be four and a quarter inches, and let's make it five inches high. So let's mark five inches on here. And four and a quarter. And we'll just cut it out. quite at four and a quarter, so I'm going to trim it again. Okay. And the other pocket is going to be at four and three quarters by five also. So we'll just mark four and three quarters. And we already have our five marked. So we'll just cut at five. And we'll cut at four and three quarters. There we go. And we'll cover these with dictionary pages. So I'm going to glue, let's move this out of the way, I'm going to glue this page and set the dictionary page on top of it. And then we're going to just trim this off. So if you are having fun creating this or creating with me, or you think you might create this in the future comment below in the description in the comments um, dictionary envelope so I know that you are having fun doing this or are going to do this with me in the future okay so we got our first pocket ready and we're going to color it up like we did the outsides going to ink it with the brown on the edges. And then after we get the other one done, we'll attach it into the trifold envelope. So this one, we're going to combine a couple pieces of dictionary page for this because we
our short on dictionary pages that are long enough. So we're just going to combine two dictionary pages. another piece right here we'll make this work There we go, got it covered. And we'll trim this off. glue on this one so let's dry it up one up just like we did the other one the blue and the brown of this inside is going to be showing I want to stamp a little bit on the inside with I'm going to do this bird from the same stamp set on a pocket Do it on this little pocket. And then there's this little wreath in this set, this little flower wreath. I'm 
I'm going to do that on the other one. Let's also do that in the corner. since we're doing butterflies I have this butterfly sticker we can add in here it's a bow bunny sticker and this flower Let's see if that will fit on there trim off a little bit there now we'll close stick this little heart right here in the center of the wreath I think that looks cute there and let's glue these pockets down now you can do one of two things you can either sew them with your sewing machine on or you can glue them down and again the Glue stick wouldn't be strong enough to hold it, so I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac glue. You could also use Aileen's Tacky Glue if you ha don't have Fabri-Tac. Or whatever wet glue you have. Okay. There we go. We got the two pockets put in. You can add thumb holes to them if you want. But I think that looks cute just the way it is. We got envelope done two different ways. Now let me show you how to add this into a journal. So I have a journal that I'm working on here that is all ready to go to be sewn together. And I'm going to sew this one in.
So I've already punched my holes in this journal. Um, normally I would wait to punch my holes until I have this ready to stick in, but I had already been working on this journal before I decided to add this envelope. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this in just like this. And I'm gonna come through to the holes on the front side and poke through to make the holes in the center of the envelope. Just so I got the holes where I already have holes. Got my finger there. That hurt. <laughs> These things are sharp. So be careful of your fingers. Okay. So I got my holes punched there. So you leave your envelope open, you punch your holes, and this is for when you're going to be, you can do this in the center. What am I doing here? This is, these will be added to the center of your signatures. This one, you don't necessarily have to add it to the center of your signature, but then it won't make sense if it's like this. Um, it, it won't close like this. So you can add a piece of magnet or Velcro to this to close it, or just um, put a little paper clip on it to close it when it's in the center of your signature. Um, but you're gonna do the same thing here you're just gonna skip the step of gluing after we get it sewed in for, for this one. But when you have the envelope that you are closing, you're gonna sew it into your signature. Make sure it's taut and then tie it in. And then after it's all in, And I always tie my signatures a couple times just to make sure that the thing doesn't come loose. We're gonna glue the envelope up. and then you have an envelope inside of your journal. And this one would look like this inside of your journal. 
and have two pockets inside of it instead of uh, just an envelope inside of it. So there's an alternative. You have just a, a regular envelope or you have a pocket envelope. So I hope you guys enjoyed the this tutorial and we'll create and make what I've showed you here today. Um, all the products I've used will be linked in the description box below if there's one of them that you saw that you liked and you want to get so that you can um, go to Amazon and you can get those products. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified. Be sure to check out these, the videos for more helpful information and stay safe and see you in the next video. Bye.